honest, I bet you really want to know what I'm doing today, yesterday, well yesterday. Um, um, I didn't have a really chill day, I didn't do much, I mostly shopped and went to museums and I'll give you more detail later when I get back. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'm in a rush, I'm packing up, it's about time to leave, so I'm going to wash my face and I've been going back and forth, but I think I'm going to wait for two hours because I got to check out at 10, I wish it takes out at least an hour later. Um, because I'm really curious about this special shop. Why is it so special that it opens only three days a week from 12 to 5? So, yeah. And, but, okay, so I have to have time. So, yesterday, really quickly, I'm just going to flash through this. Again, chill day, left late. The, t um, the person who pulls to change my towels was shocked because I was still here. <laughs> so I left after 12 around one and I got to the museum. The first place I went to was definitely a museum, but on the way there, I did stop at the bakery. I went to stop at two places um, and another store, which I don't know what it is, but I was like, I saw this thing on the window. I'm like, curious, I wonder what this is. So I went in just to buy it. And then, um, and one other, two other things with it. And then I went to the museum and it was free. Technically it's free, but you could donate. Um, I went back and forth for, if I should buy the washi tape, I would have bought it if it was like, 200 yen. I think it was more worth 200, 300 yen than 400. I don't know why the extra 400 is just like, oh, no, it's too expensive. It's really simple, plain pattern. I think that's why. Okay, so it's almost about to end. So then after that, I went I'm passing to go to this museum. I went to, I passed the Bloom Museum and went there to just to check it out and wonder what was going on. Okay, so I'm going to make this quick. I didn't get to, I'm back in my room. Hello, I'm back from Saga. And so I really want to talk more about um, my time in Saga, specifically Saga, the city. I didn't talk much about also, I didn't talk much about the garden, but it was beautiful. It was beautiful and it was nice. Uh, just that the hike was so overwhelming that it overshadowed the, the destination. So anyway, about Saga, as I said, it was mostly a food kind of sort of trip where it was mostly focused on food. I did have like some kind of destination of like at least go to one place in Saga. Um, and so the, where the chose place I chose to go to was originally the art museum but then when I was looking up the art museum I saw next to it on the map that there was a, a, a open thing for the castle I forgot what it was called but here's the name and I didn't know what I was like okay so okay I'm a little, little bit of a person who really likes old buildings so forgive me and so I went there to, so instead of going to the museum, I went there and it was free technically, but you could donate. So I, so yeah, um, I recommend if you want to go there and it's like um, pretty much the history between where they're reopening their borders because there was like a lot of Dutch stuff and um, European stuff there too, where it was like um, a lot of reinvention of like rifles instead of like we were samurais and all they were doing was rifles and so on and so forth. Is that transition and they were like around the first ones to open their borders um, to foreigners and like sh the shift basically and it was like a civil war and so on and so forth so if you're interested in that I would recommend it um, I have brochures in both English and Japanese I do not have it with me now I'm pretty sure it's still in the bag so and because I didn't know what she wanted to take she asked me and I'm like and because I'm so used to saying this in Japanese, dochi moi, I'm like, hey. and so she started she, she, she Japanese, like, oh, you speak Japanese, like, yeah. So I say, which one? I'm like, I really don't know. So I have both in English and I have it in Japanese. So yeah. Oh, it's called, oh, it's Saka Prefecture's, um Castle History Museum. So yeah, it's pretty much you could go inside the castle and you go into these certain parts. Not all parts are there. Um, the, four, the original building was much bigger and is, there's, not much the whole building was not recreated but it's part of it was and it was, it was a nice nice time you could see how things were made and how buildings were made it's basically it was nice i really enjoyed it and then while going there um there was two places three places i stopped by two one place i saw and two places i stopped by it was two bakeries and one was a not, uh, not really bakery but anyway um so i stopped by the one bakery i planned to go to which where I bought three different breads. One of my eight after I left the museum was really good. It was like a sandwich. I was not suspecting the ham and cheese butter thing that was in between it, but it was good. I, I did not eat the ham. I threw it away. <laughs> and so, but uh, the the another bread that surprised me that I actually like was the. I'm timing it now. Okay, so it was the bread that um the cream cheese raisin bread that surprisingly is really really good 
I ate that with the other bread that I bought from the other bakery. By the way, the other bakery bread was also good. I'm going a little bit out of order. Um, I really like, but the one that I, the last bread I ate from that jam, Uncle Jam bakery was the one with the pineapple in it. It surprised me because it was like also some kind of filling inside, like sakura cream filling. It tastes really good. I do recommend if you ever go there <laughs> and buy the bread. Um, I also recommend if you ever go to 79 something bakery. Uh, again, I'll just put the name of there it's just because I forgot the name. Um, I would recommend the raisin cream ra cream raisin bread and the sandwich dish bread that looks more like a it looked like it was just cheese on top with um um mushrooms, but it surprisingly it surprised me that there were, um there was more inside. But I do recommend even if you don't like ham me. <laughs> Unless you don't like ham again, it's just a surprise to me. I didn't expect it. I didn't read the ingredients carefully. I just like huh. I just look at what it was like, okay, I'll just take this and this and this and I just glaze at the the name of the food. And what else? There's and then I stopped by in this other shop. It was I think it was a, a, a gift shop. I didn't pay attention. I just stopped because I saw this um because the windows display it looks interesting like huh wonder what this is and I bought it. It tastes the regular normal one tastes alright. It's not very sweet. I think my friend will like it. Um more about that. <laughs> and so uh, but I think the one they they would like would be the ginger one I ate. It was chicken on top and the ginger tastes really good. I ate that when I came back, by the way, um, here as a breakfast snack. And then I also like the muffin, the little muffin with nuts in the middle. It, it tastes really good. I like those two uh, more than the plain one. Anyway, so we went to the museum and one on the way and the, when I was going to the museum on the way back, well, you see this really like, river bridge thing, um, a little further down from there, and NHK. Uh, one block from that is you will see the Bloom Museum. I'm like, oh, Bloom Museum. What the heck is a Bloom Museum? What is it going to show? Like, I thought it was like the regular balloon, but no, it's like those big balloons that you travel in. And it was like a whole thing. And it's because they have a Bloom Festival every November of every year. So that was like, that's cool. I wish I knew there ahead of time and I would have went, but I think someone did. And I just, just went over my head. Anyway. So that was Saga, and I was like, oh, maybe one day I'll go back and see the, the festival. So yeah, it was really nice. Um, then after that, I did went to buy souvenirs. I went to buy the souvenir that I saw was a traditional shoot with shops. So I'm going to pull them both out. Oh, my shit. Don't look close to my pores. I didn't wash my face today. All right, here it is. So, I bought more. I didn't eat the other sweets. I have not eat them today. So I bought this for the souvenir portion. Um because this one was the one that this is the only one that um this and uh, one other thing is the only one that whose expiration date goes past April, it goes into May. And that's until June. So that's why I bought it. And it's beautifully wrapped by the way. And uh, so we, and then I bought a whole bunch of other sweets again. I'm gonna eat that today. Mm, I have to buy sugar because I have no more sugar. I thought I bought sugar, but I can't find it. I digress. Anyway, and then on the way back, I decided to. I was gonna go to the sweet shop, but the sweet shop closed at six, and I like I really want to eat dinner before I go to sweets. So I didn't get to go to the sweet shops. I have the card. I don't know if I have it. I don't know where I put it, but if I can find it, um, I will put it information and uh, put a picture up but whatever anyway and then i went to back to the train station to buy even more souvenirs so i bought souvenirs for the house photo here because i forgot to um i didn't get to do this i was want to make more room on my computer before i showed it but i didn't have time but anyway and i bought this one for my family too so i bought two of them for my family this one's a little bit more here than the other one. And this one is uh, similar to the one I ate, tasted. I wonder if it's the same shop. It is the same shop. Okay, so it's the same shop. So they will have the same exact sweets. Um, they do not show the, show the ginger one. I would have bought that one if I knew it was good. I did not until I came back. So, so anyway, that was these two. So glad. Um, and then I finally went to go get dinner at a place called Rough. I thought it was going to be just a bakery and a, like a, a coffee shop. But no, it was a coffee, bakery, restaurant, barber shop. 
which kind of threw me off like it's a proper shop too that kind of that part threw me off but whatever it's kind of slightly separated by um there's two doors the one to the barbershop and one to the restaurant or bakery coffee area um so it, it tastes good the grilled cheese to, um, tuna milk tastes good i ordered it with um I expected a little bit more, or at least little bigger bowls, but it was pretty much filling. Um, I went back, I was like, no, I, I mean, I was going to order dessert, but I decided not to because I already had a bunch of shit. I had bought sweets. I'm like, you know what, let's eat the sweets that you did bought, which is why I ate the, the raisin cream bread and the other sweets that I bought. So anyway, I digress. Next day, I did... I was determined to get those cheesecakes, so I finally went to the cheesecake, and it was, I, I, after reading on the comment section, that they are as online, and I'm like, no, I don't want to wait that long, because I gotta go back, um, so I did went uh, earlier to around 11, I said I went back, I uh, went to the train station first to get my ticket, which is a good thing, because when, um, um, I digress, anyway, I'm gonna come back to that, um, uh, good thing I went to the train station first to buy my ticket to, um, Hatake, Hatake? whatever i'll put it right there and then i went back to go to the cheesecake and wait until around 11 from 11 to 11 45 but they started having no tickets but there was two people i had me think they were together there's three people together um three people one person i technically was there in front of them him i was there before him but he sat in front of the door before me so he got number one and then the person was like the other people was kind of to give me number three i was like thank you um to number two sorry they gave me number two it was kind of and so they went to the third one. So as soon as I got a cheesecake, I was out. And I they asked me um, where I was from. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm. They asked me if I'm like, um, am I traveling? I'm, I'm traveling. Like, yeah, I'm watching a Rio Gaku State, which is a um, strange today. And I'm going back to Osaka. Well, country. I'm going back to my country. So I said, I didn't get to say I was going back. I was going back to my country. It's like, oh, and it's like, yes. And I just bought the cheesecake. I bought two cheesecake. Um, the white chocolate wasn't as white chocolate as I expected to. But they both are pretty delicious. I do recommend if you ever stop by, go check out High Weeks. <laughs> um, I do like the white chocolate. I, that's when I finished. I do also like the cha um, what I ordered uh, caramel nut coffee cheesecake. Also good. Recommend. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, but seriously, the white chocolate looks more like regular chocolate than white chocolate. I'm like, did they change it? Because they have chocolate cheesecake too. So, whatever. Um... So, returning back, I was falling asleep, and it was very hard to stay up. I was trying to listen to, like, watch TikToks and Instagram shorts and whatever. While on my way back, um, using the Wi-Fi and the train, but I was, like, falling asleep and waking up while I was asleep. I was trying to stay up just because I don't want to miss my stop. And then, oh, on the way to Hakate, someone had reserves. It's like, isn't this a free seat? It was really confusing because this was via uh, G, um, G Seki, which is, like, free seat, whereas compared to, um, she Seki, which is like preserve seat, but they have tickets like, oh no, this is our seat. I'm like, the fuck? And it was, by the way, it's Japanese. And I'm like, I didn't want to argue, but like, whatever. I just get up and go to the next one. I'm like, how the fuck you have reserved? Probably they do sometimes have that. I don't know, but I, I feel like there was so much space on the other, on the other train because there was a there was a car before it where it was like, like no specialized thing. I feel like was more preserved for people like that, but whatever. I digress. Anyway, got eventually I got home. I was tired as fuck. Best say I didn't do much yesterday either. Um, no, the day before yesterday, um, before yesterday, I did prepare to make pastry and when hopefully make it today. So yesterday, well, t yesterday, I'm gonna talk about that now. Um, just me, me reset the count. Cancel. Uh, so five minutes. Okay. So yesterday, I spent most of my time reading manga, and then I finally, my father finally called me, and I was like, okay, this is a signal to get the fuck up and do what I want to do because I wanted to buy the markers and I wanted to buy the set so I finally got up to go out to eat I ate the bread oh I finally ate the meal of bread when I came back here um fucking delicious oh my gosh if anything you do go to Uncle Jam and buy the fucking maple loaf bread that's fucking good um <laughs> so sorry to, to curse but it's really really delicious oh my gosh and it's sweet and you don't even need a toast you don't need to put anything it's just I just ate the bread raw well technically it's not raw I just eat the bread beer and it's really good anyway so i digress so when i went out i decided to you know what finish the the oh i finally oh i found my vocabulary packet the old one it was in my bag yeah it was in this the the bag that i usually use to carry gross and stuff isn't that was in that bag um 
So I just did to recopy. I still have those. So instead of using now, I just recopy the old one to new one. But before that, uh, before I look at the new old one, I just, just directly copy. I see, try to see what I how much I remember, and then check with using the old one. That's what I did, and copy the rest of the rest of the notes. Anyway, so that's what I did when I got to Tanoji first, and was snacking on bread. I was gonna eat the snack that I said I was gonna eat yesterday. Today, I instead of just ate the bread because for some reason I didn't eat much but the chips and the little bit of the bread and that's it. But I was full. Mm, from our walk, I'm hungry now, so I really do want to eat. Um, but I do want to buy sugar for my coffee because um, I don't know what I did with my tea shit. Uh, I think it's thrown away, or if someone put it downstairs or something. I don't know. Um, it's gone when I came back, and it's my part of my fault for not putting away because I thought I did. Here's the thing: on my memory, I think I do things and I don't remember. Um, so anyway, I digress. Anyway, so. Finally, well, after doing that for like an hour and a half or almost two hours, uh, I finally went to go to Kawachi, which is the only place that has the, both the Copic sketch and Copic Chow markers. And so, because that's what the markers I wanted. I wanted to actually buy the set, but they no longer sell the sets. And well, they only make the sets in Copic Company, so they don't longer have the sets. I'm like, I asked this chop paper, and she just reached her. So I was like, first, I was like, okay, so I got by individual. So like, yeah, so I bought a mix of Copic and Chow, Chow Sketch and Copic Chow. I bought a total of 22, which technically comes less than $100, which is how much it's going to cost me um, of the Copic Sketch. So yeah, and it was like, it came out to be, I got to be three. Wrap bags, um, but besides, that, I did buy some more stuff, so it ended up coming out three hundred dollars anyway. A little less than two hundred thirty-three, and it's coming out to um, three hundred and thirty-one dollars and forty, three hundred thirty and fourteen dollars and eighty cents estimate. <laughs> and I got oh, that's um, percentage off, so yeah. Oh no, no, that's tax. Never mind. Okay, that's with tax. So that's how much it costs with tax. It's um three three hundred dollars and fourteen cents. The packet would come with three hundred dollars and thirty three something something cents. But, but I bought this stuff. The other stuff I bought was this cleaner for um your dip your pin for your pin nibs, which I bought because I thought oh it's very convenient. I actually do use pin nibs. So of course it has something to help me clean it. Um, I also bought. Isn't this one? Okay, isn't this one? I bought two markers, um, paint markers, white. Isn't this one? Um, and then I bought also this one. Replaceable nibs um, for the marker for the copy stuff. Um, the this one is the brush, the brush tip, and then the um, thing. And I bought a single white pen. And I think that's about it. So, so two of my uh, markers, the cleaner. Um, signal pin i feel like it oh and um two things so one two three four five six i feel like i brought one more thing but i don't remember what it is whatever um besides the bag i'm just counting the bag um I, this this also costs money by the way um, they do charge you for bags um anyway last thing i did before it left i was like you know what it's already late um i might as well buy dinner here so i did i bought i went around i wouldn't have to eat but it's like no nah, fuck it i'll just eat the uh Tempura, so I put tempura on shrimp tempura on. I didn't eat either chicken or say asai, but I even up with the usual shrimp. Anyway, that is and for me. Okay. I forgot to mention today I was mostly going to try for the rest of the week, concentrating packing, so that's what I'm going to do. So.